Hello, I am Seamus Dunhu of Eve University, and this is my walkthrough for the Level 1 Sisters of Eve epic arc, The Bloodstained Stars. Chapter 2, Automation Impediment. Uh, due to real-life delays, it's been a couple of days since I filmed the previous episode, so my character that I'm using for this has been training skills in the meantime. This is now a seven-day-old character. <clears throat> I am on the mission going Galente, and I've arrived in Herergit 5 Moon 1 Creodron Factory. I am docked in the station. Right-click Delphine Zerassier, start conversation. And Sister Alatura's entry should disappear from the Agents tab. Uh, studying the scene, uh, Delphine Zerassier wants you to retrieve some corrupted drone components. Click Accept. The mission is here in Herergit, so we don't need to set a destination. Uh, make sure I have the charges, make sure I am still properly fit. Alright, everything looks fine. Undock. Turn your camera so that you can right-click an empty space rather than the station. Agent mission studying the scene, encounter dead space, warped location. Warp drive active. By the way, in case I didn't make it clear in the previous episode, this is not the only way you can do the epic arc. This is just one way. You don't necessarily need to use a catalyst. You could use uh, any other kind of destroyer or a frigate for the first set of missions. All right, I'm going to approach the corrupted. I'm going to left-click the corrupted drone and open cargo and keep my afterburner running. Loot all. Select Herrera Get 5 1 and dock. Warp drive active. You don't need to actually destroy anything here. By the way, if you want a text walkthrough, uh, you can refer to eve survival.org which has reports on how to do many kinds of missions, including some of the epic arcs. EveSurvival.org is not affiliated with Eve University. But it is a very good resource. Alright, talk to the agent, complete the mission, request next mission. Deliver the antibiotics to the Colonial Supply Depot. Uh, make sure you open up your ship's cargo hold. Let's accept the mission. You need to drag the antibiotics into your cargo hold. Make sure they're on board. Uh, close and undock. 
This will also be in her rare kit. You don't need to set a destination. Warp drive. Warp to the mission. There is a Colonial Supply Depot. Uh, click Approach. Turn on your Afterburner. If you're using a Micro Warp Drive instead, then you can turn on your Micro Warp Drive. Just be careful, you go a lot faster so it's easier to overshoot things. That and the micro warp drive has a special disadvantage that it makes you a bigger target. From where you warp into the mission, the Supply Depot may be on the far side of this near cluster of objects, so you might have to do a little manual piloting. If you just try to approach it dead on, you might bump into these gas storage silos and not be able to get within 2500 meters. Turn off my afterburner. And control spacebar to stop. And let's open the cargo. Dump in the antibiotics. And you are done with the mission. Dock at the station. If you find that you're bumping into things because this cluster of stuff happens to be in your way, just control spacebar to cancel your warp, and then double-click to go around the whatever is in your path. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Right click the agent, start conversation, complete, and request. Clear the area of Serpentis Pirates, ambush the personal transport. Click accept, and close. Close the cargo hold and undock. Warp drive active.
fit with antimatter charges right now, so my range is about 13 kilometers. More or less. There is nothing wrong with your sound, I just haven't been talking. I'm going to get closer to them and turn on my afterburner. Alright, good enough. Turn off the afterburner. This is a cruiser, so I'm going to orbit a little bit. I was orbiting it a little bit. Alright, mission is complete. Despite what the mission text might have said, there's nothing here to retrieve. I'm going to abandon all wrecks. Save a location so I can salvage it while waiting for the video to process, but otherwise I'm going to return to the station. Warp drive and active. control R to reload. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Complete and request. Here we need to retrieve a data core. All right. Let's click accept, close, and undock. Again, this is in Herergit. We don't need to set a destination. Warp 
warping to the mission. Alright, there's a destroyed ship. You will want to open cargo. And I will turn on the afterburner. By the way, I definitely have targeting level 3, that's why I can lock 5 things. That would be the shield alarm. Click the loot all button. I'm going to align to the station while shooting these things. going to recall my drone. Save location. Abandon all wrecks. Do I need anything else here? Nope. I'm done. Right click the station and dock. Warp drive active. You'll probably have noticed that my shields went down a fair bit. I didn't do anything about that other than destroy enemies, primarily because I have an armor repair module and the armor hasn't been touched yet. If you're flying a shield tanked ship and you're running a shield booster, you probably would have wanted to start turning on the shield booster basically in the range of 25 to 40 percent. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Complete. Everything's green check marks. Request the next mission. Alright. Uh, the next mission is crossing enemy lines. This is going to uh, move us on to chapter 3. I'm going to stop recording in a minute, uh, and I will then salvage the wrecks that I left behind because I saved those locations. When I start the next chapter, I will already be in the Hatakani solar system. Until then, thank you for watching.